this point, uh, Teacher Mai, mm. we have this Grade 4 English. Yes. We will be learning Grade 4 English. And the topic for this afternoon, Teacher Mai, mm. will be Unity Within, Recognizing the Parts of a Simple Paragraph. Okay, so our content presenter is a teacher one of Kabangatan Elementary School. So we have Sir Wendell B. Sanchez. And of course, with him is uh, his... Uh, creative developer. Creative developer. Teacher one from Monte Vista District, we have Sir Jairo M. Imar. So I guess everybody is ready. Are you yes, ready, Sir Drew? I'm so Drew? very excited for this day. Yes. And so without much ado, ladies and gentlemen, mga kazi escuela, it's now time to learn English. Hello, children. I am Wendell Sanchez, your teacher, and welcome to English 4. It is our first day of class. And let's start your school year right with an exciting topic. Today, you are going to learn the parts of a simple paragraph. At the end of this session, you are expected to recognize the parts of a simple paragraph. I believe you are with your parents or guardian at this very hour. And I am sure you have with you your module in English grade 4, your full pen, your notebook and sheets of paper. Just relax, find a good seat, and be a good listener. Learning is waving at you. Are you excited to keep moving? All right! To begin your learning journey, hold your module in English and please turn to page 1. Done? Very good! Here is your first task. I have prepared some questions that you will answer to measure how well you know the lesson. Write only the letter of your answer on a sheet of paper. And just a reminder, answer the questions with honesty. Are you all ready? Let's start. Question number one. What are the parts of a simple paragraph? What are the parts of a simple paragraph? Letter A. Introduction, body, and ending. Letter B, topic sentence, supporting details and conclusion. Letter C, first part, second part, and last part. Question number two. How will you identify the topic sentence in a given paragraph? How will you identify the topic sentence in a given paragraph? Letter A, it tells what the paragraph is all about. Letter B, it supports the main idea by providing details. Letter C, it sums up the details presented in a paragraph. For items numbers 3 to 5, read with me the short paragraph, then answer the questions provided. Note the number given for each sentence. I repeat, for items numbers 3 to 5, read with me the short paragraph. Then answer the questions provided. Note the number given for each sentence. Television or TV is the easiest means to access information at home. At present, most Philippine homes can now provide TV for their family. Regardless of the kind of TV we have, one of the benefits we get from watching TV programs is information. Children can explore the places that they wanted to go to. They can also get an idea of protecting the environment too. Parents become aware of the news happening in different parts of the world. All of us learn just by sitting in front of the TV while having fun. Television or TV is the easiest means to access information at home. While TV has been generous, in providing a multitude of information, still, it is in our minds to decide for our advantage. Television or TV is the easiest means to access information at home. At present, most Philippine homes can now provide TV for their family. Regardless of the kind of TV we have, one of the benefits we get from watching TV programs is information. 
Children can explore the places that they wanted to go to. They can also get an idea of protecting the environment too. Parents become aware of the news happening in different parts of the world. All of us learn just by sitting in front of the TV while having fun. Television or TV is the easiest means to access information at home, while TV has been generous in providing a multitude of information still it is in our minds to decide for our advantage. Question number three. What is the topic sentence of the given paragraph? What is the topic sentence of the given paragraph? Letter A, sentence number one. Letter B, sentence number seven. Letter C, sentence number eight. Question number four. Using the same paragraph, what are the supporting details? Using the same paragraph, what are the supporting details? Letter A, sentence number 1. Letter B, sentences numbers 2 to 6. Letter C, sentence number 8. Question number 5. What part is the conclusion of the paragraph used in numbers 3 and 4? What part is the conclusion of the paragraph used in numbers 3 and 4? Letter A, sentence number 1. Letter B, sentences numbers 2 to 6. Letter C, sentence number 8. Are you done? Okay, let us check your answer. Question number 1. What are the parts of a simple paragraph? Letter A, Introduction, body and ending. Letter B, topic sentence, supporting details and conclusion. Letter C, first part, second part, and last part. The correct answer is letter B. The parts of a simple paragraph are the topic sentence, supporting sentences, and conclusion. Question number two. How will you identify the topic sentence in a given paragraph? Letter A, it tells what the paragraph is all about. Letter B, it supports the main idea by providing details. Letter C, it sums up the details presented in the paragraph. The correct answer is letter A. The topic sentence tells what the paragraph is all about. Number 3. What is the topic sentence of the given paragraph? Letter A. Sentence number 1. Letter B. Sentence number 7. Letter C. Sentence number 8. The correct answer is letter B. The topic sentence of the given paragraph is television or TV is the easiest means to access information at home. Number 4. Using the same paragraph, what are the supporting details? Letter A. Sentence number 1. Letter B. Sentences numbers 2 to 6. Letter C. Sentence number 8. The correct answer is letter B. The supporting details or the supporting sentences are sentences numbers 2 to 6. Question number five. What part is the conclusion of the paragraph used in numbers three and four? Letter A, sentence number one. Letter B, sentences numbers two to six. Letter C, sentence number eight. The correct answer is letter C. Sentence number eight is the conclusion of the paragraph used in numbers three and four. How many correct answers did you get? Don't worry, this module will help you master the lesson about recognizing the parts of a simple paragraph. Nice start learners, keep moving up. And now, turn page 4 of your module. Done? Alright, as you can see, there are 4 pictures. What word 
is common to the pictures. The clue is most of these are found in the school library. Can you guess? Very good! You got it! The correct answer is book or books. What is your favorite book? Do you love reading books? What do you think is the oldest printed book in the world? Do you want to know the answers? When you keep going, you will know the answers. On page 6 of your module, you will encounter unfamiliar words when you begin reading the paragraph about books. During our short break, answer the crossword puzzle on page 5 of your module. You can use the dictionary to help you out. Then, check your answers using the key on page 24. I'll repeat. During our short break, answer the crossword puzzle on page 5 of your module. You can use a dictionary to help you out. Then, check your answers using the key on page 24. Then, we will begin reading the paragraph about books when we come back. The Radio Z Escuela program of the Division of Davao de Oro is being brought to you by Tingog Party List, Nueda Builders Construction and Supply Incorporated, Maverick Builders Incorporated, Mitch Construction and Supply, Mabanglo Arquicons Architectural Construction and Supply, DB Construction and Supply, Kanawai Builders Corporation, Phoenix Corvada Tagum Gasoline Station, Master Construction and Supplies, Mackenzie Builders, GP and H Construction Incorporated, Metro Gear Construction Corporation, Net and Builders and Development Services Corporation, Max Maze Enterprises Incorporated, V Inc. Construction Company, Rangai Construction and Supply, East Sussex Enterprise, WM Construction, Counselor Boogie and Miss Marjorie Bertodazzo, Apex Mining Company Incorporated, and Icon Builders and Supply. And we are back! Are you still motivated to learn? That's good to hear. I feel your excitement. Is my feeling right? Well, thank you for that. Remember the following words you learned in the crossword puzzle for you to understand well the paragraph. Let's begin reading the paragraph about books. Books are the oldest source of information that never gets old, even before when the oldest radio has not yet been invented. Books were able to provide information to the people around the world. Books have been an essential part of human life since the old times. They have been used for telling stories, preserving history, and sharing information about our world. The first ever recognized books were the ancient schools. These are ruled up manuscripts made from papers plant and ranges from 14 to 50 to feet wide when unwavered. The second type of book was the book to go of the romance, more similar to the style of books today. 
The Romans created some of the first codices from as early as the first century common era. The code was more durable and compact than a school as it was made with parchment paper and bound with wooden covers. Information is important and books have been a necessity for everyone. The need for books resulted to the discovery of printed books. The first recorded printed book in history is the Diamond Sutra of Mahayana Pudise. Books in schools are all product of printing. These modern days, books are now in electronic form. Electronic book or ebook for short is the most convenient type of book as long as you have gadgets to read on. Books may change over time, but it will never get tired nor old in giving us vast information around the world. Books are the oldest source of information that never gets old, even before when the oldest radio has not yet been invented. Books were able to provide information to the people around the world. Books have been an essential part of human life since the old times. They have been used for telling stories, preserving history, and sharing information about our world. The first ever recognized books were the ancient schools. These are rolled up manuscripts made from papyrus plant and ranges from 14 to 52 feet wide when unrolled. The second type of book was the book to go of the Romans, more similar to the style of books today. The Romans created some of the first codices from as early as the first century common era. The code was more durable and compact than a scroll as it was made with parchment paper and bound with wooden covers. Information is important and books have been a necessity for everyone. The need for books resulted to the discovery of printed books. The first recorded printed book in history is the Diamond Sutra of Mahayana Buddhism. Books in schools are all product of printing. These modern days, books are now in electronic form. Electronic book or ebook for short is the most convenient type of books as long as you have gadgets to read on. Books may change over time, but it will never get tired nor old in giving us vast information around the world. Did you enjoy reading the paragraph about books? You should. It is important to have fun while learning. Now, let us answer the following questions based on the paragraph that we have read. Number 1. What is the source of information mentioned in the paragraph? What is the source of information mentioned in the paragraph? The source of information mentioned in the paragraph is book. Number two, what are the types of books? What are the types of books? The types of books are ancient scrolls and codex. Number three, how does each type of book differ from each other? How does each type of book differ from each other. Codex is more durable and compact than a scroll. Number four. Why do we need books? Why do we need books? We need books because books provide information. Number five. How do you imagine our world without books? How do you imagine our world without books. Without books, we would be living in totally different world. We would have no choice but to simply believe what we are told. Were you able to answer all the questions? Great job learner! Job well done! And now, let us discuss thoroughly the meaning of a paragraph and its parts. What is a paragraph? A paragraph is made up of sentences that focuses on a single idea. 
Let us read again the first line of the paragraph in page number 6. All together. Books are the oldest source of information that never gets old. Did it tell you what the paragraph will be about? Yes or no? If you answered yes, you are right. This is the topic sentence. The topic sentence is the sentence in a paragraph that gives the reader insight or idea what it is all about. It states the main idea of a paragraph. Sometimes it can be found in the middle or end of the paragraph. You have to read well the paragraph so that you can be able to identify correctly the topic sentence. Most of the sentences in a paragraph are considered supporting sentences. What are supporting sentences? Supporting sentences make up the body of a paragraph. It expands the topic sentence in detail to develop the idea presented on it. That is why it is also called as supporting details. The numbers of sentences vary, but the typical paragraph should have two or five supporting sentences. What is the connection of the last sentence to the topic sentence? What is a concluding sentence? A concluding sentence marks the end of the paragraph, and it summarizes or raises the key point of the paragraph. This is the last sentence in a paragraph. To recognize a simple paragraph, you have to consider all of its parts from the beginning up to the last sentence. Remember the three parts of the paragraph. First, we have the topic sentence. The topic sentence is the sentence that gives the reader the main idea or what the paragraph will be about. Second, we have supporting sentences. Supporting sentences give specific details relating to the main idea. Lastly, we have the concluding sentence. Concluding sentence refers to the topic sentence and sums up the main idea of the paragraph. Again, all together. The three parts of a paragraph. First, we have the topic sentence. The topic sentence is the sentence that gives the reader the main idea or what the paragraph will be about. Second, we have supporting sentences. Supporting sentences give specific details relating to the main idea. Lastly, we have the concluding sentence. Concluding sentence refers to the topic sentence and sums up the main idea of the paragraph. What are the parts of a simple paragraph? Very good! The parts of a simple paragraph are the topic sentence, supporting sentences, and conclusion. Job well done! Was this helpful? Do not be in a hurry learner. You can read it several times in your module to ensure mastery of the lesson. This time, turn page 10 of your module. Done? Let us try this one. Let us read the paragraph and you will write the information being asked in each item. Are you ready? Let's start. My favorite subjects are English, Mathematics, and Science. English is one of my favorite subjects because I love reading stories and writing stories about fairy tales. Next is mathematics. Because when I was still young, my mother taught me about adding, subtracting, multiplying, and even dividing. My interest in science began when we had a field trip in a zoo where I've had a lot of why questions about animals. I always stop the class in these subjects, and I really work hard to love the other subjects as well. My favorite subjects are English, Mathematics, and Science. English is one of my favorite subjects because I love reading stories and writing stories about fairy tales. Next is Mathematics. Because when I was still young, 
My mother taught me about adding, subtracting, multiplying, and even dividing. My interest in science began when we had a field trip in a zoo, where I had a lot of wide questions about animals. I always stop the class in these subjects, and I really work hard to love the other subjects as well. Question number one. What is the topic sentence of the paragraph? What is the topic sentence of the paragraph? Question number two. List down the sentences that support your answer in number one. List down the sentences that support your answer in number one. Question number three. What is the conclusion or concluding sentence of the paragraph? What is the conclusion or concluding sentence of the paragraph? Write your answer on your notebook or any sheets of paper, and we will check your answers after a short break. The Radio Z Escuela program of the Division of Davao de Oro is being brought to you by Tingog Party List, Nueda Builders Construction and Supply Incorporated, Maverick Builders Incorporated, Mitch Construction and Supply, Mabanglo Arquicons Architectural Construction and Supply, DB Construction and Supply, Kanawai Builders Corporation, Phoenix Corvada Tagum Gasoline Station, Master Construction and Supplies, Mackenzie Builders, GP and H Construction Incorporated, Metro Gear Construction Corporation, and Builders and Development Services Corporation, Max Maze Enterprises Incorporated, V Inc. Construction Company, Rangai Construction and Supply, East Sussex Enterprise, WM Construction, Councillor Boogie and Miss Marjorie Bertodato, Apex Mining Company Incorporated. And we are back. Are you excited to know the results? All right. Let us check your answers. Turn page twenty-four of your mojo. Done? Okay, if you got all the answers correctly, great! Congratulations! If you did not get all the correct answers, still you did well. This time, you will apply what you have learned in this session. Are you all ready? Let's start. Read with me the paragraph when answer questions numbers 1, 2, and 3. Write the letters of your answers on your answer sheet. My biggest dream in life is to become a doctor. I love watching movies where doctors are happy about saving lives of people. I will become a doctor to my grandfather who is sick. I will give him his medicine and check his body temperature too. I feel amazed at how doctors are being respected in our community. I want to become a doctor because I want to help my dearest grandfather fight cancer. My biggest dream in life is to become a doctor. I love watching movies where doctors are happy about saving lives of people. I will become a doctor to my grandfather who is sick. I will give him his medicine and check his body temperature too. I feel amazed at how doctors are being respected in our community. I want to become a doctor because I want to help my dearest grandfather fight cancer. Question number one. What is the topic sentence of a given paragraph? What is the topic sentence of a given paragraph? Letter A. I want to become a doctor because I want to help my dearest grandfather fight cancer cells in his body. Letter B, my biggest dream in life is to become a doctor. Letter C, I will become a doctor to my grandfather who is sick. Question number two. Identify all the supporting sentences for the given paragraph. Identify all the supporting sentences for the given paragraph. Letter A, the school also guides them to discover their talents, skills, and interests in life. Letter B, I love watching movies where doctors are happy about saving the lives of people. Letter C, I will become a doctor to my grandfather who is sick. I will give him his medicine and check his body temperature too. Letter D, 
I feel amazed at how doctors are being respected in our community. Question number three. What is the concluding sentence in the paragraph? What is the concluding sentence in the paragraph? Letter A. I will give him his medicine and check his body temperature too. Letter B. I want to become a doctor because I want to help my dearest grandfather fight cancer cells in his body. Letter C. My biggest dream in life is to become a doctor. Are you done? Let us check your answers. Number one. What is the topic sentence of the given paragraph? The correct answer is letter B. The topic sentence of the given paragraph is my biggest dream in life is to become a doctor. Number two. Identify all the supporting sentences for the given paragraph. The correct answers are option B, C, and T. Number three. What is the concluding sentence in the paragraph? The correct answer is letter B. The concluding sentence in the paragraph is I want to become a doctor because I want to help my dearest grandfather fight cancer cells in his body. How many correct answers did you get? If you got the perfect score, great job! You learned well in this session. If you did not get a perfect score, still you did well. Anyway, we can still go back to the discussion and read it all again. Don't lose hope learning. That's all for today. I am very happy being with you throughout this session. Once again, I am Wanda Sanchez. Till next time and goodbye. The Rajo Z Escuela program of the Division of Davao de Oro is being brought to you by Tingog Partilis, Mueda Builders Construction and Supply Incorporated, Maverick Builders Incorporated, Mitch Construction and Supply, Mabanglo Arquicons Architectural Construction and Supply, DB Construction and Supply, Kanawai Builders Corporation, Phoenix Corvada Tagum Gasoline Station, Master Construction and Supply, Mackenzie Builders, GP and H Construction Incorporated, Metro Gear Construction Corporation, and Builders and Development Services Corporation, Max Maze Enterprises Incorporated, Reing Construction Company, Rangai Construction and Supply, East Sussex Enterprise, WM Construction, Councillor Boogie and Miss Marjorie Bertodato, Apex Mining Company Incorporated, and Icon Builders and Supply, Z Radio 88.5 FM, in partnership with the DepEd Division Office of Davao de Oro, presents the Rajo Z Escuela Program, a radio based instruction that will cater learners in the entire province of Davao de Oro. Division Executive Committee, headed by the school's division superintendent, Yofemia T. Gamutin Ceso 5. Assistant Schools Division Superintendent, Febby K. L. Refamonte CPA. Curriculum Implementation Division Chief, Dr. Josie T. Bolufer. And School Governance and Operations Division, Dr. Roben J. Riponte. Members, Karina S. Frasco, Cecilia Morales, Dr. Hilda A. Opeña, Dr. Arlene B. Lin, Dr. Eldicris B. Calzadora, Dr. Dexter A. Sikinia, Nohara O. Pinuti, Noemi P. Canales, Dr. Grace D. Pontilias, Virgilito C. Fabrices, Juanito Lapiceros, Engineer Norberto S. Manlangi, Gurley Ringo, Jomar M. Dumupoy, Bob Dalan S. Milaba, Medar D. Ampit, and Paz Eugenia Villusino. Technical Working Committee for Production and Communications, Lord Rili E. Quijano, Given G. Hinampas, Judy Lan T. U. Donna D. T. Bolofer, Mary Rose N. Resma, Irene Leia C. Mangohon, and Bessie Aya N. Banyes. Social Media and Packaging Team, Christian Anhara L. Martesho, William R. Ganara, Joan T. Iscoto, Roberto S. Acusar Jr., May B. Istanyol, Richard H. Arellano, Glee L. S. Blanco, Ralph A. Tabanyan, Angelo Gutierrez Jr., and Jade Karen Arais. Check your time. It's already 12.46. And so the English 4 has been uh, presented all already. And now it's time to meet Sir Drew, our dear presenter and at the same time, the content developer. Yes. Uh, shall we introduce them? Yes. Go ahead, please. Yes. Our uh, 
Content presenter this afternoon for the grade 4 English is a teacher one of Kabangatan Elementary School. Mm. We have Sir Wendell B. Sanchez. Hello, Sir Wendell. Congratulations. Congratulations, sir. For that great presentation. How do you feel right now? My feeling is fulfilling because finally I have aired or we have aired our mm. lesson in grade 4 and I can really tell that nothing compares with the fulfillment mm. of reaching out our learners for them to learn. Yes, that's right. And anyway, happy Teacher's Day to you, sir. Happy Teacher's Day, sir. <laughs> okay, so uh, this will not be the last time, right? This yes. is just only the beginning. The beginning. Yes. So looking forward no, for more uh, great presentations mm. coming from you, sir. Okay, so I guess uh, uh, we have here the frequently asked questions. So are you ready to answer these? Go on. <laughs> Okay, so please uh, do the honors, uh, Sir Drew. Yes, so we have uh, five frequently asked yeah. uh, questions here with regards to your uh, topic, which is the recognizing the parts of a simple, simple paragraph. paragraph. So the first question here is, uh, what are the three parts of a simple paragraph? The three parts of a simple paragraph are the topic sentence. Mm. Next, we have the supporting sentences. And lastly, we have the conclusion all right the so that are the three three simple mm. uh, three parts three of parts, parts of a simple paragraph we have the topic sentence supporting sentence and the conclusion yes, yes. okay sir um here's the another one no how to recognize a simple paragraph well to recognize a simple paragraph mm. we have to consider all of its parts from the beginning up to the last sentence okay mm. that's nice mm -hmm. How about uh, what is what do you mean by what is uh, what do you mean by topic sentence? What is mm, what, what is, is the topic, topic sentence? sentence? Topic sentence tells the reader the main idea or mm. what the paragraph will be about. Okay. So that's the main idea. How about the supporting sentences? What are they? The supporting sentences give specific details to the main idea. Mm. That's it. Okay, and so how about the concluding sentence? The concluding sentence refers to the topic sentence relating, re relating to the main idea or what the paragraph mm. all about. Okay, so thank you so much, sir, for answering those questions. Mm. And we do hope that our dear learners, together with their parents, have really learned something at the same time, uh, enjoy listening to our presentation.